Conceived in the Cold War era, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird was a technological revolution. It set records in speed and altitude, and to this day, it remains the fastest and highest flying operational manned aircraft ever built. The SR-71's journey began in the late 1950s, when the United States needed a strategic reconnaissance aircraft capable of high altitudes and high speeds to evade enemy defenses. Lockheed's legendary Skunk Works team, under the leadership of Clarence Kelly Johnson, rose to the challenge. From the successful A-12 Oxcart, the precursor to the SR-71, Johnson and his team crafted the SR-71 Blackbird, an aircraft unlike any other. Primarily built from titanium to withstand the extreme heat of high-speed flight, and powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58 engines, the Blackbird soared above Mach 3.2 and cruised at altitudes over 85,000 feet. The Blackbird's technological challenges led to a multitude of groundbreaking advancements. From its specialized fuel, JP-7, designed to withstand high temperatures, to its unique chine designed to minimize radar detection, every aspect of the Blackbird pushed the limits of what was believed possible. The SR-71 signature black paint was not just for aesthetics. It helped dissipate heat and reduce radar detection, earning the aircraft its Blackbird moniker. The first flight of the SR-71 took place on December 22, 1964, and it entered operational service with the United States Air Force in January 1966. During its service, the SR-71 carried out more than 3,500 missions. European operations were conducted from RAF Mildenhall in the United Kingdom. There were two routes. One was along the Norwegian west coast and up the Kola Peninsula, which contained several large naval bases belonging to the Soviet Navy's northern fleet. In the early 1980s, there were several emergency landings in Norway. Rescue parties were sent in to repair the planes before leaving. On one occasion, one complete wing with engine was replaced as the easiest way to get the plane airborne again. The other route, from Mildenhall over the Baltic Sea, was known as the Baltic Express. In the heat of the Yom Kippur War in 1973, SR-71s conducted numerous missions over the Middle East, delivering crucial intelligence that shaped the course of the conflict. During the Vietnam War, Operation Black Shield saw SR-71s flying over North Vietnam and the demilitarized zone, providing key intelligence for U.S. military operations. Another notable event occurred in 1987. An SR-71 performing a Baltic Sea mission unexpectedly ventured into Swedish airspace due to a system malfunction. The Blackbird was pursued by Soviet MiG-25s, but Swedish JA-37 Vighans intervened, ensuring the SR-71's safe return. When the incident was declassified in 2018, the three Swedish Big Hen pilots were awarded the U.S. Air Medal for saving the SR-71. The SR-71 made headlines once more during Operation Eldorado Canyon in 1986. It performed post-strike reconnaissance after U.S. air strikes against Libya, confirming successful hits on the targets. A standout achievement was the SR-71 speed record from New York to London. On September 1, 1974, Major James V. Sullivan and Noel F. Whittefield achieved this in just 1 hour 54 minutes and 56.4 seconds. Beyond its impressive operational history, the SR-71's lasting legacy reshaped aviation. Its pioneering role in stealth technology and radar signature reduction, informed the design of future aircraft like the F-117 and B-2. After nearly 25 years of service, the SR-71 was retired in 1989 due to budget constraints and the increasing capabilities of spy satellites. But that wasn't the end of the story for the Blackbird. Due to its unique capabilities, in 1995 the U.S. Congress voted to reactivate a small fleet of SR-71s. The Blackbirds were once again called into service, conducting missions until 1998. The SR-71 flew its final flight in 1999, marking the official end of its service. Since then, the Blackbirds have been distributed to museums across the globe. Although retired, 
the SR-71 remains an icon of human achievement and innovation, forever inspiring us to break boundaries and reach new heights. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys into the world of aviation.